All right, here we have another one of the 118th scale auto art cars. This is a um, uh, Holden Commodore VX Super Sport uh, Victorian Police. I guess they're smart car, it says on the packaging. Again, in 118th scale. Uh, this is, as I mentioned, an auto art model. Uh, very expensive to begin with. And then also added uh, with the factory added decals and everything on this one. Um, just adds to the, I guess the word would be, rarity of it. Uh, auto art cars are very detailed uh, vehicles. You can see the engine the, uh, compartment, sorry, the department engine compartment, uh, highly detailed in there. Uh, a lot of, I guess what you want to call it, texture uh, to the motor, uh, detail, bits and pieces, um, windows. Get rid of that. It does have windows instead of just open like a lot of the less expensive models. Uh, you can see this one does have an added. Uh, uh, laptop in there. The customer wanted that added to this, and my customer Andrew, who lives in Australia, had these built, and I haven't heard from Andrew. Uh, so Andrew, you know who you are. Um, you know these are your cars, and I understand that, but I need to get rid of them. So contact me so I can get these back to you. Um, otherwise, they're up for sale um, to anyone interested in them. Again, they aren't. Uh, cheap models, uh, so I'm not going to give them away. Um, uh, the price will be according to what the models sell for on eBay or whatnot, and plus this one has added lighting. Uh, batteries located in the trunk, uh, easy enough to change. Um, of course, you can see the doors open, obviously the trunk opens. Hood opens as well. Uh, switches across the bottom. Try to go over these without messing up sequence I'm sure I will. Here's the main power switch. Once you power that on, it uh, will illuminate the emergency lighting. Uh, the lighting here, this one's for the, uh, actually for the siren, uh, to turn it off and on and adjust or uh, choose the tone. And then these different lights here, either controlled tail lights, uh, headlights combination, or stra headlight strobes, and then you have a uh, power switch down here that's your steady headlights and tail lights. And then these other ones also control maybe rear deck lights and auxiliary uh, fog lights and that type of thing. So let's go ahead and just turn it on. Everything will be on. Let's see, let's turn the steady headlights and tail lights off. There you have you see your uh, triple strobe patterns that this one has. Uh, again, uh, headlight strobes on the inner headlights. Other uh, strobes are blocking all that. You can see those there flashing. The red and blue uh, on the little ram bar, the push bar there, also have strobes in them. And then the front air dam strobes, uh, triple stro or have strobes as well. Uh, of course, a blue and a red strobe over top of the rear view mirror, pop my shop light out. And then, of course, red and blue strobe light bar. Again, this is built for a customer, or was built for a customer, so this is the lighting patterns that he chose on this. Uh, one red and one blue uh, strobe on the rear deck, and then you have tail light strobes. Um, again, the siren on this one's just a standard four tone siren. Go through those real quick, and I'm sure someone's going to ask me, well, why didn't you put an Australian a siren that's in the Australian type police cars? Well, that's because they don't make those. So he didn't want a sound card; he wanted that type of siren. So that's what we added to there. Again, these other switches on the bottom, I believe this first one here, if I'm not mistaken, is the tail light. It is. So you can actually see, press that three times, uh, your tail light and headlight strobes will stop. So you can kind of control them by themselves. Uh, the next button over will control your rear deck and front uh, um, patterns. Three presses on that one will turn those completely off. So then you can just have your light bar operational. And then also with that one you can press, um, which will be these buttons here next to the other power switch. This one here, this button here. And we'll actually control the patterns of the light bar. You see it was going through an automatic pattern. Uh, there's just a triple strobe wigwag pattern. Let's hit that again, see if I can hit the right button. I'm sure I'll screw this up. And then you can do a... Um, Hit three times, and the third time, I actually turn it completely off. So everything will turn off completely. And you want to, you can turn your 
steady headlights and tail lights on. Again, your front uh, push bar fog or uh, auxiliary lights illuminate, and then also your headlights. You have a green interior work light, and then of course your tail lights. And if you want to see all of everything together, you can just turn this main switch off and back on. And that will have everything else going. You can see your tail lights illuminated and also your strobes inside there. And then we can spin this around here. And you can see your headlight strobes along with your steady headlights. So everything will work uh, independently. You can control the different sets of lighting and everything uh, independent or all of it will work uh, simultaneously. So, again, Andrew, this is your model. Um, get a hold of me, brother. It's been over a year. And like I said, I'd like to get your cars back to you. Uh, but I need to hear something from you so I can get uh, uh, get paid up and get them shipped over to you. So give me a uh, give me a shout. You have my email address, or leave me a message here. Maybe you've lost my email address. Leave me a message here on YouTube, and I'll get back in touch with you. Uh, so I appreciate it. Like I said, anyone else interested in the models, uh, they are for sale. Send me a message. Thank you very much.